Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420, and today we're gonna check out this Raisin Fuse Lemonade! I love these things because they always mess me up and you can never get enough. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna talk about, uh, this one is the, go ahead and close that all the way. This is the uh, Huckleberry Raisin Fuse Lemonade. I've had their regular lemonade, and it wasn't my favorite just because I could taste the, uh, the cannabis -y flavor and it, it's not like a horrible bad taste but it's I would compare it to beer um, maybe the first time you had beer you didn't necessarily like it but you were like that wasn't the deterrent and you know the it wasn't enough of a deterrent for you not to ever have it again so that's kind of how it is with this I know it's an acquired taste it's gonna take a little bit but it's not gross by any means if you can handle a beer you can drink this that's for sure and with that, I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. They still have their A Sunny Drink for Shady People logo. Not my favorite, but it is what it is. You still got to throw it out there. Um, <coughs> sorry. And with that, I'm going to pop it open. These normally come with a little cap to measure. Uh, if you're not a regular consumer of cannabis, I encourage you to follow the instructions because you will fly so high that you won't ever want to go back there again. So... Um, use the cap of if you're a regular cannabis user and you've had edibles and you know more or less what they go or how they're gonna go I would drink about a half of one of these this is a uh, this is a 25 milligram THC content bottle <laughs> and for some reason I had to do that accent so with that I'm gonna go ahead and try it this is the huckleberry raised lemonade and and you don't taste the cannabis. Whew. All you get is a really, really good taste of that huckleberry. You get a little bit, there it is. Mm. You do get a little bit of a uh, throat tickle, but that, that happens with any, pretty much any and all. Um, edibles just because I don't I'm not really sure why but it does especially with drinks um, it's not a bad thing it's not uncomfortable in any way shape or form it's just a just something to mention because you will feel a sensation there um, and with that you, you just kind of have to wait I'll be back tomorrow to tell you guys how this went but um, they, they typically put me out and they're usually pretty good so yeah but with that I'm gonna be I'm going to go and split this with my girlfriend so I don't finish it all by myself and I will be back again with you guys in a day or so to let you know how it went. Hey guys, what's up? So as you saw, I went ahead and tried that last night and it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Uh, about an hour or so after I took it, started feeling sluggish, tired, the, you know, the droopy eyes, you get the, it's basically like sand in your eyes and you just get super, super, super tired. Um, and then by nine o'clock I was in bed and fast asleep. Uh, Anyway, back to this drink. It was delicious. It was amazing. If you guys get a chance, definitely try it. Pick them up. Um, if I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. I would just definitely go try it. Check it out because it's tasty. It's it's it's. If you want to compare like cannabis to alcohol, this is the perfect way to break yourself in because you're going to drink this thing and then you're going to get that sensation. And it's going to, at least in your brain and psychologically, it's the same process that you're already used to in order to get an intoxicant inside of your body. So in my opinion, this is one of the fastest and easiest, most like socially acceptable ways to, to consume cannabis for the first time. Just like I said, follow the instructions on the bottle and you're good to go. Other than that, if you have any more questions, leave it down in the comments section and I'm going to do my best to reply to you in a timely manner. This has been Recreational 420 and I'll be back again with you guys soon.